So, David, have any charges been brought against specific individuals who made these threats? Is there any scenario where law enforcement is looking at the owner of these of this account, uh, Haya Raychek, and saying, OK, maybe we can hold her responsible for some of these incidents? Hands. Are we the baddies? Folks, believe me when I tell you that Trump was 100% accurate when he called out the media as an enemy of the people. We've seen the media target regular private citizens before, but this latest attack from NBC News presents a very clear and present danger to every American, especially if you oppose the current ruling party. NBC News and far-left operative David Ingram actually went to the FBI, detectives, police chiefs, and others to accuse libs of TikTok Hire Raycheck of actually causing random bomb threats simply by reporting facts and reposting the left's already publicly posted videos. Hence the name Libs of TikTok. Oh, that's brilliant. So, David, have any charges been brought against specific individuals who made these threats? Is there any scenario where law enforcement is looking at the owner? of these of this account uh Haya Raycheck and saying okay maybe we can hold her responsible for some of these incidents are you out of your goddamn mind what sort of consequences could there be here that's right Elson um everyone every law enforcement officer I spoke to up to the FBI talked about how much uh how many resources these threats take up even when they turn out to be hoaxes now uh it's important to note that Haya herself is not uh, a suspect in any of these bomb threats. Excuse me. What? Um, the accusation from victims and from law enforcement is that she has helped to inspire or spark these threats by essentially creating a list for someone or multiple people to go through and and pick potential targets. That little snot boy I'd like to smack that kid. Unreal. There you have it. Far left extremists over at NBC News are directing government force against private citizens for reporting news that goes against the state narrative. Lives of TikTok is quite literally using the exact same First Amendment right to report the news that NBC uses. But these folks apparently think that they have some special right to do so. They erroneously convince themselves of this by claiming that Haya spreads hate with her reporting. But this, of course, is just a matter of subjective opinion. If you watch this channel, then you know full well that our Democrat state media has no problems constantly spreading hate about their political opponents. The topic at hand included, but of course they don't see it that way. Only they can hold you to those standards. You can't do it to them. It's just completely insane. It shouldn't take much intelligence to see the sheer hypocrisy of accusing a reporter of inciting threats simply by reporting the news. They have literally zero evidence that any of this is connected to her, and she's never called for violence. So that begs the question, what exactly gives NBC News the right, by their own standards, to incite violence against Haya by making these accusations? It's just the classic leftist belief that their actions are somehow separated by their own standards because it's different when they do it. But does anybody out there really think the FBI is going to be investigating David for possibly inciting those? No. No. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No. 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 Hell no! That's the difference between them and us. We can call them out by their own standards for inciting violence, but we don't have any kind of institutional power to do anything about it. On the other hand, they do. And that's exactly what makes them the authoritarian threat. Is there any scenario where law enforcement is looking at the owner of these of this account, uh, Haya Raychek, and saying, okay, maybe we can hold her responsible for some of these incidents? You are damaged goods, lady. I shouldn't have to tell you how dangerous this is because it's been the message on my channel since I started. The left is particularly dangerous because they can rationalize any action in pursuit of their agenda. And right now, that agenda is silencing their political opponents. What exactly has Libs of TikTok done to get this attention? Mostly what she does is repost the insane public postings of woke leftist teachers, doctors, and others who promote their far left ideology. And apparently the state media doesn't want people seeing that. If all reporters were held to this ridiculous standard, they'd all be in prison based on the actions of people they don't know and can't control. Other times she's exposed public schools that invite drag queens for performances, offer kids pornographic materials that the school boards won't allow you to read because what Libs of TikTok reported was accurate. If some nut job then calls in a bomb threat to the school, you can't blame the reporter who was just telling the truth. And we know this is the case because the media and Democrats were never held responsible for riots they literally 
constantly incited with false information, like hands up, don't shoot, or that Trevon Martin and Jacob Blake were victims, but they weren't, and that police were hunting down black people, which they weren't. All lies and attacks on institutions that led to real violence and death, but for which they were never held responsible. Remember those protests in front of Supreme Court judges' homes and the media's full-fledged support of it? Protests outside Supreme Court justices' houses, particularly Justice Kavanaugh. Um, where do you think that line is? I think for a lot of people, the, a conversation about civility feels um, like it misses the mark. Mm. Yes, there are going to be protests in front of Kavanaugh's house because people are angry. Oh, that was different. Remember the assassination attempt? Was the media to blame? How about Democrats? Did the FBI investigate? Oh, oh hell no. <laughs> or how about Tim Pool, who's the target of many attacks from leftist media? And also the most swatted person ever. One thing you won't find are FBI investigations into Democrats or members of the media or mainstream media articles questioning if they were the ones who incited it. Or how about Rand Paul or Republicans in general, like the Democrat terrorist attack on GOP congressman by a Bernie Sanders campaign worker who screamed, this is for healthcare as he shot and almost killed Steve Scalise. Were the media or Democrats ever to blame for that? Of course not. And the FBI went out of their way to cover it up as suicide by cop despite all the obvious evidence before quietly admitting it was a domestic terrorist attack years later and with zero media interest. No, this is a brazenly corrupt tactic that is deployed by the Democrats and their media against their opponents. Remember, Stacey Plaskett also claimed government officials were getting threats because of the Twittergate reporting. Mr. Chairman, I'm not exaggerating when, when I say that you have called before you two witnesses who pose a direct threat to people who oppose them. The View has even attacked Fox News for the exact same thing, even saying that members of Fox News should be imprisoned. Meanwhile, it's totally a joke when Jane Fonda calls for the murder of pro-life politicians live on The View. So I guess the standard only applies to Democrats and their state media accomplices. How convenient for them but incredibly dangerous for you. We're under attack and everybody must realize that if you oppose this regime, you are now a target. They will come for us all. And that's exactly why I want you to go over and follow the Libs of TikTok on X when you're done here and also consider supporting me on Patreon. That's all I have for that one. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you're still here, might as well hit that like button. Thanks a lot.